social media strikes again and this time around it puts a member of parliament from the democratic alliance in hot water renaldo Cruz is not happy because he started trending for wrong reasons when old videos and tweets of his started resurfacing where we can hear him making some serious racial remarks pressure mounted on the da to take some action and they finally suspended him not expelled him suspended him the human rights commission has also taken some steps now people are asking king what should we expect from the democratic alliance when it comes to the disciplinary hearing process when it comes to racism well in this video we talk about that and much more welcome to king said so Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan Africanist podcast. Enjoy. To be able to form a what about the DA and the ANC? No, uh, we don't want to be in government with the ANC, and that's precisely... So that is out of the question. No, it's precisely why we formed the multi-party charter. My job is to get the ANC out of government. I don't think we're going to solve the country's problems by having the same people who are responsible for the economic crisis, the social crisis, mm -hmm. and the infrastructure crisis sitting around the table. We've got to change him. And that's why the multi-party charter mm -hmm. has said we will not do deals with the ANC. Ronaldo Chos has been suspended from party activities in the Democratic Alliance with immediate effect. This follows the surfacing of a video in which Ronaldo uses execrable and totally unacceptable language that are directly opposed to the value system of the Democratic Alliance. His case has been referred to the Federal Legal Commission, and if he wants to state his defense, he will be able to do so there. But till then, he is suspended from all party activities, and we await the outcome of his disciplinary hearing. Peace in pan Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm your host, Kahiso Shongwane Sinchifa Sono. And we're back at it again with another one. This time around, we are again in South Africa. Again in South Africa. Every year, without fail, we address another white person showing us that they don't care about the reconciliation process of South Africa. They're showing us that racism uh, very much still lives in our community, in our parliaments, in our offices, in our homes, at school. Every year, every year without fail, without fail, every year South Africa gets one of these episodes. In fact, we get about two or three each, each year. Each year, it's either from a school, a supermarket, social media, whatever. Someone gets it on cam. And this time around, Rinaldo Juez has got nobody to blame but himself. Ah, I, I don't like throwing a blanket on, and on all white people and say, all of them are racist, all of them, they must go on. No, 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 no. As pan-Africanists, we are rational in our thinking. We say most of white people are racist. Most of them display it privately and the very few stupid ones then do it publicly and then we catch it. But because racism in South Africa is a wound that was never covered or taken care of, once it's touched, it strikes a nerve on black people and they respond like nobody's business. We started tweeting, uh, retweeting videos. We started making videos about this. A petition went out and everything. And it helped, ladies and gentlemen. Your efforts of retweeting, talking about this, put enough pressure on the DA to 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 make some action of some sort the human rights commission also also surprisingly has also stepped in they didn't wait for for the da to finish their uh, dc hearing on uh, mr horse but um they themselves are busy on a parallel uh, dc or, or opening a case against him very good news very good news it's sad that we south africans have to go um uh, through this this again Ish. It's very sad. It's not nice. Um, but in that sadness, I want to remind you guys that the DA is not going to take any harsh, any harsh 
or strong um, actions against this guy. They not. They are from the same cloth. They cut from the same cloth. They don't see this as a problem. They see it as a problem because it has now uh, it, uh, surfaced into the public eye once again. But it's not a, a problem that should make them sus uh, expel a person from parliament and all of that. It's just a small suspension. Get into a DC, sort it out there. Because John Stian and the, the president of the DA already believes that, listen, this guy has asked for forgiveness. He was, he was young. He was reckless, uh, irresponsible. You know, he he's sorry. He he apologized for for white people apologizing for uh, apartheid. It's enough. The clerk did it. Many other white people did it. Uh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Can we get over it now? There, I said it. Sorry. Oh, sorry, Jose, man. Listen, what to <laughs> John? St <laughs> John. Uh, and this uh, potentially, potentially, potentially will get a big ministry, this guy. Listen to what he said. I think the remarks need to be seen in their context. He's apologized for them. It was 16 years ago. Uh, you know, when people are young and irresponsible, they're young and irresponsible. And he's acknowledged that. He realizes he's now a member of parliament and he now has to uh, abide by the rules of the caucus. So and, no, no plans to that. Well, we'll have to see what the party processes are going forward. I'm not familiar with those. I think the remarks need to be seen in their context. He's apologized for them. It was 16 years ago. Uh, you know, when people are young and irresponsible, they're young and irresponsible. And he's acknowledged that. He realizes he's now a member of parliament and he now has to uh, abide by the rules of the caucus. So and, no, no plans to that. Well, we'll have to see what the party processes are going forward. I'm not familiar with those. Someone who does not give a damn. We're talking about John Stiernes. And you're wasting his time asking him, uh, this question. I'm 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 rocking black, uh, black heart. By the way, I'm rocking black heart. It's one of the channel sponsors. Thank you so much for the gear that they sent to the boy King. Um, uh, you guys always see the ad. So if you want to order some t-shirts, you know, tell them that King sent you so that you know they can give you a discount nyan of twenty rand or whatever. Even though as as pan Africanists we don't ask discounts from black businesses, but uh, for the sake of supporting, if you want a nice T-shirt of Black Hat, please make sure that you contact them. You are wasting your time asking John Stiernes in these questions. Niambora. John Stiernes says. <laughs> he says. It was a clip from 16 years ago. Why are we pointing out the years? If I raped and killed someone, does it matter if I did it five years ago, five months ago, 16 years ago? If someone comes out now and said, I killed a black person during apartheid, should we keep it, uh, treat it a lesser of a crime because it was during apartheid? Huh? 16 years ago, 15 years ago. <laughs> White people don't see, don't see apartheid 15 years ago, man, get over it. This is how they want us to get over apartheid. It's 30 years ago, man. It's more than 30 years ago. Before 30 years ago, there was blacks or a side and um, European side. After 30, white people never called themselves South Africans up until 1994. They never did, not even once. They made they they, they were uh, Europeans. You see the boards, you see um, the signs and everything during apartheid. After apartheid, you think they are hard, uh, not after apartheid. After 1994, you think they are hard changed. Hmm? And then he's got a, a nerve to say, no, he, um, he, he, he apologized. And he says the remarks must be taken into content. You must, you must receive the whole content, just receiving just one cent. I watched the whole video. I watched the whole video and I was like... <laughs> The anger in that why you know white people are the only one who's allowed to be anger to be angered by apartheid and by people not getting over. It's like beating someone, raping them, taking their land, taking their surname, taking everything, and then telling their children that why are you angry when they know that their their fathers suffered, their great 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 fathers suffered under this white supremacy, under the apartheid regime. He's so angry that yes, can we get over it? And it was the song of uh, 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 Unlife the Poor, Unlife the, the Farmer that, that, that triggered that anger. But we know he's actually um, 
they they hated to see Julius Malema with that confidence and that much following. If you have watched the full clip, you know what I'm talking about. So let's listen quickly to the the head of communication there from the DA. What is he saying? Is there some type of remorse? What are they saying there? Hey, guys. Traffic Alliance's communications director, Richard, thanks very much indeed for coming on. So, uh, Ronaldo Jose is now facing a uh, disciplinary hearing with the Democratic Alliance. He's been suspended from from all uh, party activities. But this disciplinary implies that there is a case to be heard. Is there not enough grounds for immediate dismissal? Well, the DA is a, a party of, of process and, 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 and the rule of law, and we do have a process that must be followed. Um, the Federal Legal Commission is being constituted. Um, there will be a hearing, um, and Mr. Host will um, have an opportunity to appear at that hearing. Um, of course, we have distanced ourselves completely from these comments, which are in direct contravention of any of the values and principles um, espoused by the DA. Um, and as you correctly said, he um, is suspended from all party activities with immediate effect. So that process um, will follow and it will follow as soon as uh, possibly can be uh, put together. We put the panel together and then have a hearing. Um, but we distance ourselves completely. This is uh, total um, contradiction to what the DA stands for. Mm. Um, I suppose what, what informs my first question is the fact that um, he lied initially about whether this video was indeed real. Uh, the DA has now for itself uh, confirmed the authenticity of the video. Um, and again, it brings you know, the question to the fore around dismissal. I understand that there's a party process involved, but it all sort of counts against him, doesn't it? Oh, it certainly will. I mean, there's the, these, these are various charges that will be brought um, you know, for contravening um, sections of the the party's um, constitution, obviously. Um, and as you yourself said, there are other processes outside of the party that are already underway as far as the Human Rights Commission is concerned. And, and we want to deal with this as, as, as swiftly as we can. Um, but there are processes that need to be followed. And all these issues you raise about uh, people having lied or that type of thing will come into it. There's, those will be additional um, parts of the investigation. Mm. Another... another um comment that i forgot to highlight there with john Stenis, and he says <laughs> he realizes now that he's a member of parliament he's realizing now that history will come back to bite you yeah but you know it doesn't count for white people white people can just realize now that they are member of parliament so what they did in the past does not count that is how white people think unfortunately that's how they think now what we've done in the past what my grandparents did in the past it doesn't matter man it doesn't affect the now and the future <laughs> that is how they reason and they, guys i'm going to be shocked if they suspend this guy the worst that can happen with um uh, rinaldo Juez is that he can be removed maybe as a member of parliament but then they will then move him to as another strategic position. They will tell, we are rehabilitating, uh, rehabilitating him. It's the same thing that happened in um, uh, the PA, by the way. Uh, one of the PA uh, colored members called another black member uh, uh, the K-word. And then the PA um, uh, fired her, um, expelled her, but then brought her back and said, no, we will rehabilitate you here. Because you guys know, some most of colored see themselves 10 times better than black people. Why? Because of that language Africans that they speak. That language thinks that they are superior to black people. Most colors, not all, most colors. So that that is what is happening here in this situation. They, they, they're going to reward this guy for all the, those videos because in, 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 the, in the bedroom talks and behind closed doors, white people are saying, but on scene, next for security. What did they say? What did they say? So what mensen praat so elke dag en ons mag niks sê nie. Die is, die is, you know, they are just angry. They are just angry. You know? Because they don't see the crime of apartheid. They don't acknowledge it. It's old news. Doesn't matter. Why is it, you know, it's, it's very important to, re to educate our children. Very important to educate our children, guys. We must, we must educate them so that they can understand why is it that they don't have an advantage over uh, white children? Why is, what is white supremacy? What is white privilege? 
You understand? Why is it that you must work harder? Why is it that um, we must carry ourselves better, 10 times better, you know? You have a YouTube channel, you have a, a Twitter account, you're busy tweeting nonsense. The day you want to take um, public office, <laughs> those things will come back and bite you. Black or white? Black or white? They want to come back and bite you. Can uh, tweet uh, rubbish and do things. And that applies to us also. To, uh, to everyone. To everyone. Understand? I can't tweet nonsense that uh, let's rape all girls when I'm in uh, grade 10 and think that that is not going to come back and bite me. What What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> yes. And because the way ukulenga a corner is the way uzobanga corner. The way you grew up is the way you will be. So this tells us what type of a family this man comes from. Tells us a lot. His father and mother and wife, all of them, they are on social media. We can put them on blast and, and, and point them out and go into their Twitter accounts and search and search whatever. I'm sure we'll find some dead, but we don't do that because we know what is what. You know what I'm saying? So don't expect the DA to take crazy action against this. It's going to be a very soft that's all he's gonna get he's gonna be moved because he was a i think he was the head of communication for the department of tourism i'm speaking under correction in the eastern cape um uh yeah he's been a spokesperson for some some few departments there so they're probably gonna reward him with a downgrade to one of those because remember he has now cost his family 1.3 million per annum because that's what uh, MPs get, 1.3, 1.4 million, depending. So him and his wife were already planning uh, the good life that they were going to live. Understand? And as a, as a father, as a husband, I can imagine um, that's not going to sit well with him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to eat him for a long time. But he dug his grave, to let, let him lie in it. Let him lie in it. Give me your thoughts on the comment section. Tell me what you think about all of that. Please, ladies and gentlemen, continue to subscribe. Continue uh, to share these videos to spread awareness. And um, uh, black people, I, I, I understand what you are angry. Let's show superior um, maturity in dealing with these type of things. Let's allow the processes to, to, um, to unfold. But again, because it's not in our hands, it's not in our hands, let's not cry too much. We can't change these people. Whatever outcome is going to come from um, this whole process, that man is not going to change. Let's be busy with what we are doing as black people. Let's rebuild. Let's, let's reunite. Let's, let's structureize ourselves in a methodical way that we can uh, force progress from ourselves. Let's not want white people to come in and help us. and what. No, let's, let's build as black people and work. You understand? Because in nine in every ten white people, you're going to find such, such people. Nine in every ten. So if you are hoping to find that one white person who's okay, eh, they will reveal themselves. The okay ones, we see them on Twitter, we see them on 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 TikTok, we see them everywhere with that. But this white person is strongly speaking against the racism, consist consistently, consistently. Does not mean maybe they are not racist in their heart, deep down, whatever. But they are trying to help to raise awareness. You understand? But that's one in every ten. So, Tina, let's do our thing here. Black people, this side. Let's do our thing. Let's rebuild. Let's rebuild. And then the colors that want to work with us will come. The white people that want to work with us, they'll come. And then we'll rebuild. And then South Africa one day will find itself in its on its feet. Hopefully that's in our lifetime. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. After you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in pan-Africanism. I salute.